Hey guys. Hello there. So a few of you have been asking for a van tour, which we haven't been able to do because Tom's either been working, I've been working, or it's been raining. So we're both off. We've got a nice view. It's sunny and the van is clean. So we'll give you a van tour. Don't know what's going to be included in it. It's a van. There's only three and a half square meters. Like, don't get too, don't expect <laughs> too much because it's not going to happen. This has been our home for the past nine months. Oh, nine months living in the van. Yeah. What a way to spend your thirties. <laughs> so this is the front of the van, which we have spent so long in because of all the driving across Australia. One difference that you might have seen since our last video is the one seater. So. We did used to have the two seats across here and it had like a pull down shelf but it took up too much space and we hated it so this does the job. But not much to say on the front, the front's the front, however the back. So this is currently set up in travel mode. This is how we travel during the day with everything secured away. All of the clasps on all the drawers are all done up. Everything's shut, everything's tight so it's not going to fall around. The fridge has got its feet locked and everything's secured in our little cargo net to stop it moving around. First up, kitchen. Side mounted kitchen, which we're actually really happy that we got considering the head of the bed is at the back. If our cooking stuff was at the back, all the fumes, all the cooking smells are just going to saturate your pillows. So we're really happy it's been from the side and in a place like this, instead of being at the back, we can sit and look out. All the views. All the views. <laughs> so, first up we've got our little butane gas stove. Very common, very popular, they're all over the shop. Little butane can, in it goes. When we were on the road we used to go through one of those every day and a half. Yeah. Well, right so now we barely go through them because we're on the campsite we don't have anything apart from coffees in the morning and Kristen's coffee in the afternoon and my hot water bottle at night time <laughs> right, just we are getting there now underneath conveniently located is our trusty Kmart kettle $16 been used and abused three or four times a day and it's been going solid for nine months <laughs> we then got some cleaning stuff and all of our utensils big stuff at the back little stuff at the front easy access for our spoons and then underneath this, there is another compartment down here, which is the perfect size to store some more canisters. Into the mini pantry, we've got carefully, carelessly balanced <laughs> our mini pantry. Got my oats, rice, pasta, coffee, sugar, protein, peanut butter, all the herbs and spices and cooking stuff that we need. Easy access, super easy to use. So the rest of our food goes into here, which is a little messy, <laughs> um, but potato, sweets, my cereal, sugar, jam, etc. all goes in here. All my crockery goes here. So plates, big bowls, normal bowls. Yeah. Six and a half hours later. Where we put our bags, travel towels and water bottles in. So we also have tons of storage in the van, one being these drawers. So here we put all of our underwear, uh, here is all of our wash stuff, and this is our miscellaneous drawer. Everybody has that messy drawer at home. This is our drawer. So all of our clothes go in here, so this goes all the way back. We also have storage under here, so we've currently put all of our summer clothes, because it's winter now, under here. We'll talk about the tech stuff, start with the fridge. So we've got a 47 My Coleman fridge, which has served us incredibly well over our journey. We can only put three or four days worth of meals in at a time, but that's not been a problem for uh, the entire time we've been traveling, which is great. Uh, as per our vlog in Cairns, customer service for this company is brilliant. The fridge is powered by our 200 watt Bluetti solar unit. We have got 360 watts worth of solar panels on the roof, however, the solar unit can only take 200 watt input really good for the overcast days it means that the, the panels have got a great capacity to be able to put it in mm -hmm. and we've only ever run it down a handful of times in usually really bad weather we've got the lights connected to it in here which we can just turn on like that but 
more importantly, connected by this one, our, our cooling systems, which did us very well over the, the top. That one was awesome. Then our Max Air 2 in the roof. You can have that tuck air in, tuck air out, turn it off and it will reverse and go the other way. You can manually adjust the height of the flap as well. More miscellaneous drawers. Tech drawer, all of our chargers, hardware, and some spare change in that one. And then this one is our documents. We've got all of our personal stuff that we don't use too often. So a couple of like bad chargers, a couple of spare batteries. But then we've got our shoe cupboard. Really handy little shoe cupboard. Also told a range room as a toilet once and he believed it. <laughs> Fire extinguisher. Five litre water container that we've used the entire way um, in our cargo net. Finally our bin. And last but not least, the famous board. Okay, and come round the back and we will show you more storage. New number plate. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my shed. This is my man cave. Not the best man cave. <laughs> However, that's just our normal blanket that was probably not needed. But the diesel jerry can that we used to go across the top. We saved hundreds of dollars with this, if not thousands. 20 litres of water, essential for the five litres. So if we had that, our water bottles and the five litres, we had about 30 litres of water at a time, which was great. Some bug repellent, emergency tree stuff, which we never had to use, but that's fine. Got the bags with some bits in, that's some more mosquito repellent. Yeah, just stuff that we're not using so much anymore. That we don't keep in the interior. Got my toolkit. Uh, which again has come in very handy WD-40 as you'd expect some more toys our snorkels all the used cloths go in there and killer which is a must very important some sports <laughs> poop shovel <laughs> I've definitely used that three times and that's it for this drawer and this drawer is slightly smaller. Um, oh. Oh, I wonder what's in there. Oh, okay. Um, this is also my drawer. <laughs> no, I have to go outside to get to it though. Filter, our bags, so both of our packing bags are in there that we came over with. Another spare blanket and a couple of books that we've already read. Water filter and Lego drawer. Here are a couple of books. Little printed Grogu in there. I've got the tire lever and I've got the um, jack in the back here. These curtains are brilliant. Whatever the guy who built this did, they are phenomenal. Proper blackout curtains, triple layers. I can feel another layer inside there. We've got them here and in between the seats as well. Talking of the seats, we put a captain's chair in to maximize the space in the van and this has been an absolute game changer for both of us because oh, it means we can both sit in here now Kristen can sit on the bed I can sit here now we're moving into our nighttime setup so this is what it looks like before we go to bed this is night mode yeah so obviously the bed extends all the way out it is a small double very small double very small double but we both fit in it fine this is our home cinema setup so we put our phones in here fans are conveniently placed it's not right above your head which is great but it's enough to draw the air through and we've got this one to obviously pump it around as well in the front with our captain seat turned around we've got our radiator so this is a 2000 kilowatt radiator that we don't plug into the battery that comes um from the hookup point we set it on half mm, yeah um so just a thousand watts and then we make sure that when it, it's got a setting on the side it's from kmart it was only 79 dollars when it goes below a certain temperature the radiator will kick in it keeps us super warm and toasty in here and it went down to four degrees the other day and then my beloved employment company had a load of these left over so i decided to cut out a liner for our window so i've got one for each window we put one across on here as well one in this one and then it's completely enclosed on the previous videos you'll have seen us using these 
we pull this all the way across on the runner but we don't need to do that now it makes this space a lot bigger it means that we can put things on the chairs so we usually have our like my drone bags on there along with the wash bag and it's a really nice peaceful easy easy nighttime setup uh, on the outside as well we have got our STM awning so that extends out for two meters we used it a couple of times in the Northern Territories when yeah. we were driving just to provide a bit of shade which was really really good but I'm pretty sure that's all for yeah. our van tour that's our home but no good van tour is complete without a fair review as to what we may change if we were to either do it again or we had the time and money to change this one which we might still do yeah um, what would you like to change i would change the fridge in an ideal world uh, i'm not a massive fan of one where it is because it's hard to open the, the door and get stuff in so i would have a stand-up fridge that you can open which obviously has its drawbacks especially when traveling but i think that would make it a little bit more comfortable it's little things that drawer would be the same i guess the one behind us but what would you change that one there. um i would change the height of the bed I would lower it by two inches. I can't sit up in that gap there. You can just about just. do it with a slight bend, but there's no chance that I can sit up in there and I'm obviously not the tallest guy. But just taking two inches off the top of the drawers and lowering it down would make that whole space just a little bit more comfortable sitting. Like this has been a game changer, but this was like <laughs> the top of the list of things that we changed the whole way. This was number one. Yeah, and we changed it. And we changed it. We went to Perth, we went to a breaker's yard and got this one. I actually bought two seats. I found one on Facebook Marketplace, then went to a breaker's yard and pulled this out of a T6. Uh, and then the swivel base I ordered from Sydney. Yeah. And it got shipped over. I mean, and now that we're into like a living routine, yeah. with work and being in one place, love it. Really do love this thing. Really, really good. And it's more comfortable for you. I can't believe you sat on that bench seat for so long. I mean, I slept in it most of the time. That cupboard? Yes. Great storage space, really well adapted. However, the handles and the drawer sliding are a pain in the backside. I don't know what I'd do to replace it. Um, I'd either put runners on it so that it's easier to open and close, or you'd put like a roller. On like a cabin? Like, yeah. Okay, that would Yeah, um, that just would so work. that it doesn't catch on the door. She's nice. a good van, Tilia's done as well. Yeah, and whoever takes her on next, if they get to take her on, you're on for a winner. We survived two cyclones 24,000 kilometers the worst corrugated roads i could ever yeah. imagine we've driven it off road to places that we wouldn't be able to get to and then we've had two tornadoes in bunbury speaks for itself worth every penny and still cheaper than rent in australia so we're going to end the vlog here the next video will be how to choose a van so if you're a newbie and you're coming to australia or anywhere in the world and you want to do van life we're going to show you what to look for what to make sure you have in the van and what to avoid and we'll see you there okay we'll see you there see you where in the van see you where action it's not how this was going you were doing this bit first Oh, am I yeah, you did. Oh, you just okay. just literally what yeah. you just said you were gonna do. I've just cleaned, mate. Wild, 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 wild Australia. Look how big it is. I was pulling it. All the common. I have ignore the burn marks, please. Brother, ugh. <laughs> no shoes allowed. That's not going anywhere. It no, it's not going. Our wash bags that we take. <coughs> Your wash stuff. <laughs> has tons in it too. That's cake. Shh. <laughs> yeah. And you can move the... Don't worry about that. Oh. Don't you, everyone knows what a phone holder is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we do all right, don't we? <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's your nap time. So I'll up. go for a nap. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have slept in a coffin. Yeah.